guys this is an iphone 6s and uh, it's saying iphone is disabled connect to itunes and i think that happened because the user of the iphone entered the wrong password a few times and now it's saying this so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it into recovery mode which will help me connect it with my mac presently it's not showing up anywhere so just bear with me now i'm gonna put my camera down but i'll try to see. you hold the the home button and the power button for like 10 seconds or 20 seconds keep holding it so i'm holding the home button and the power button that's it nothing on the volume side it goes into the apple logo and now my computer has a message for me so this shows up on finder it says there's a problem with the iphone it requires to be updated or restored i'm obviously going to try to update it first because i don't want to lose all the data it says it'll go up to ios 13.5.1 i click agree so now the phone is communicating with the computer let's see if it downloads the software so it says it's downloading a software update i hope it goes through about 10 minutes and hoping this completes okay it failed because of some reason it says the firmware file was corrupt and then it also told me my disk is full so I'm going to empty about 10 15 GB and then try again your iPhone can't be updated you must restore okay let's try restoring now because I have no other option now so I've lost all the data on it for whatever reason now I'm going to try to recover this. this Something is happening on the iPhone and I hope this goes back to factory settings. Okay guys, I now see hello. So I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can enter my information. Obviously it's factory reset the iPhone. So uh, what was happening was that I was trying to do uh, basically the update, you know, um, in the recovery mode. You have two options. You have the option of updating. It was not working. It kept saying corrupt, corrupt, corrupt three times. So I chose the other option then, recover. Mind you, it failed initially to do the recovery mode also. So I simply restarted my MacBook and it worked after that. Plus I had to delete a lot of data from my MacBook, which is fine, I guess. Um, now I'm just gonna try to restore this and I'll update you shortly.